Good game. You know, talented team. Western Carolina knows what they're doing. They ran good arms out there. They have balance in the lineup. When you look at the roster, the age and the experience and the physicality is real. Like those guys have been through it. That's a 20, 21 guys, third, fourth, fifth year of college baseball. So they're, they're experienced, lighter, settled into it. Um, it was frustrating the first run, like just a, an aspect of the game that we work on so much. He didn't get over there. You know, the first baseman probably broke for the ball. Faro fielded it. Faro probably shouldn't have thrown it lighter. It's just one of those runs when you hear me talk about the team defensive things and some of the little off script moments. That was one. He settled in. I thought he found his breaking ball last week. It was more of a fastball dominant outing. Today he started dropping a big breaking ball in there, which was good. Some good sliders. The fastball maybe not as efficient as it was the last go around, but he battled through it. Um, ben Barrett, the involvement, we needed it from him. You guys are going to see him. He's a very integral part of the staff. And how we use him, I, I, I wanted to get him in the game today. He was one of the guys that we did extend to prepare to start and lengthen it out. We wanted to get him out there. I thought he had all three pitches in play. I thought he did a fine job. Um, Noah Short is going to help us. That was more along the lines of what we had seen. I know his ramp up didn't go as well as we had hoped, so that's why he really wasn't quite as ready out of the gate as we would have liked, but that was better. Um, offensively, Cam's at bat, solid the whole night. To hit some of those balls to right field, right center field that hard, you just don't, you don't see that kind of swing and stroke and, and bat speed, and especially the opposite field. That was really nice to see. Um, Faroe's home run opened it up. We had chances, like we were offensive pests, so to speak. We were doing subtle damage here and there, but we, we had a chance to really extend and open it up, and we didn't do that. The at-bats were OK. There was a couple in a row that probably you would like back. But that makes for Rose all that more important. That kind of ignited us. And you could feel a little breathing room at that point. I thought our outfield defense was good, the, the play in right field. I thought Tibbs, the jump was outstanding, the extension and the catch. Max Williams, the ball in left field. Just the jump and the anticipation, very good. Um, and then Fisher's ball, you could see that range and the jump and the instincts he had to go close on that ball to end the game. Really a special play. I and mean, that's as good a play as you'll see on a, on a flare like that in the infield. It's phenomenal. So it was a good win. Like, you take it and you move on. And, and we clearly need to see Jamie Arnold at his best with his stuff, the good fastball, the velo with it, and, and hopefully he gets the slider and the changeup and they're both in play. Is it encouraging when someone may not have their best stuff but, but can still get through five innings like Flatter did today? No doubt about it. Like finding that breaking ball was the key. He did not He did not have his fastball. He just didn't have the feel for it. Um, he did have the big breaking ball. And you see people, us included, when we face them, it just looks like that ball is going to be up and out of the zone. And it's got enough spin and bite to it that he lands it. And you do get some chases on it when they're down. So kudos to him for finding it because going into the game, it's probably not game plan that that's plan A for you. So a really good adjustment by him and Micah has that game evolved. You mentioned uh, Ben had all three pitches working, but he came in, I think it was a hit by pitch and a single, single up the middle, you know, and, and he stumbled yeah. up quickly, you know. The ball bounced over Faroe's head. It was a really tough, tough hop, right? And then right. the walk. And then the camp, Cam's play on the bunt, like you're, you're in a position where you're defending the bunt, but you still have to handle it. And that was a really good barehanded play he made that kind of like gave some containment to the inning. If you don't make that play, you could have a whole different inning and a whole different ball game. So he, we talk about self-contained relief for starters. Well, Ben, that was really, you almost felt like you had two starting pitchers. Like, Lighter and then Barrett, and he contained himself, like had to get out of some traffic and, and did a good job of it. You mentioned it, but the way that Cam was driving the ball to the backside this early in the season, just how encouraging is that to see from him? It's great. Like when you can stay on the ball and cover away like that and force people to make some kind of modification to how they're pitching you, I mean, that's step one to being a lead hitter. And, the game at JU, the ball he hit in the ninth inning, 
into the right field corner and those two today. I, I don't know if I've seen that kind of line drive juice the other way that consistently with that trajectory. It's really unique and really special. It's great to see that. And I think his, his pitch recognition and the simplification of the swing has helped him make better decisions and, and allow him to stay on some of those balls and drive them other way. He had a handful of walks, a couple hit by pitches. Um, just seemed like good overall bats today. Um, in addition to getting hits, how important is that? Well, it's huge. You know, we talk about the less than two strike hitting, and part of that is what you take, like what you recognize and, and what you take. And if you don't do that, you're not going to get yourself into a position to draw walks. I don't know how many walks we had tonight, but those did factor into the game, and that is a part of your offense. So what you don't swing at, like ultimately probably helps you hit better pitches as the at-bats evolve and gives you opportunities for the base on balls and some of the hit-by pitches, yeah. You talked about wanting to be physical. I mean, is, it, is it as simple as just having big guys in the lineup? You know, McGuire's pop-up goes off the, the fence, yeah. and, you know, the way Drew was able to drive the ball. I mean, is this, is this what you envisioned? Yeah, I like the, the physicality of the guys. I mean, that definitely helps you, you know, and, and there are dimensions of the game that aren't like your run game and some of the other things that maybe um, some of your more physical guys don't do as much of, right? Like, so it's the balance, but I do like what I see. You know, Holbrook's ball, the wind helped it today a little bit and pushed it. I think we could have run the bases a little bit better to finish that play off to end up First and third after that was not, you know, we probably should have been at worst second and third, but Lodis hung up. But yes, the physicality, the just the strength in this weight room 115 times a year, like you would hope as the guys get a little bit older, they do become more physical and stronger. And then the recruitment of physical kids, um, you know, that's that's a plus for anybody. You're not going to do what Faro did and, you know, the way Jaime hit the ball to center field without strength and physicality in Holbrook. I know that was a fly ball, the wind helped it, but you still have to be physically strong enough to create those impactful type contact points. All right. Thanks, Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you.